My family. What did you learn? How many people in your family? Brought to you by NZ Chinese Classroom. 大家好，我是安利老师。The learning outcomes for this video are to ask and answer questions about how many people in your family. Name a measure word in Chinese, and describe when you need to use a measure word. 我们开始吧。So, asking the question, "How many people in your family?" We're asking you. So that's what we start with. Ni. The word for family. Tia. What about to have? How many people do you have in your family? Yo. Have a look at these next few words. Ji. Ko. Ren. Ni. Jia. Yo. Ji. Ko. Ren. Means how many people in your family? Let's look a bit closer. G is a question word meaning how many or how much. So the answer will always be a number. And what about this call? This is a measure word for family. What's a measure word? So when you're saying how many of something there are or asking how many of something there are, you need a measure word. So in English, we kind of have some measure words. We have A bunch of flowers, or three cups of water. Can you think of any other ones we have in English? Maybe a stack of books, that sort of thing. So in Chinese, you always need a measure word any time you're saying how many of something you have. Okay, so in this case, we're saying how many people we have. So this call is a special measure word just for people in your family. 你家有几口人 Just before the rin. Okay, so 你家有几口人 How do we answer? Let's have a look at the answer and see if you can make some observations. 我家有 something number 口人我家有 something called room. So have a look at the question and look at the answer. What have we taken out and replaced? That's right. We've taken out the question word and we've replaced it with the answer, or we will replace it with the answer. So making answers in Chinese is really easy. We take out the question word and we put in the answer. We don't need to rearrange the whole sentence. Ha ha. You might have also noticed that we've changed the ni you. To I, war, because now I'm answering. Let's have a look at a few examples. 你家有几口人 Let's count. 一、二、三、四、五。我家有五口人，对不对？很好。下一个。Can you ask the question? 你家有几口人 Let's count. 一、二、三、四、五、六。很好。我家有六口人。很好。下一个。All right. Can you ask the question? 很好，你家有几口人 ？The answer: 我家有三口人。很好。So let's see how we've done. Can you ask and answer questions about how many people in your family? Can you name a measure word in Chinese and describe when you need to use a measure word? If you can do these things, you can move on. If you're still not so sure. Replay the video and see if you can write down some more notes. Until next time, 再见。